Hey everyone, Entash here, and today I wanted to do a quick video on why I think you should check out the sewers, especially if you're a solo player who's struggling to gear up in a new world tier. The nice thing about these sewers is they are littered with crafting materials, and if you're making your way up through these world tiers, it's going to be one of the best ways to get materials to upgrade your crafting bench. The other major benefit is these little caches on the wall that allow you to get different faction keys. Now you're going to need multiple hyena keys to get an exotic called the Chatterbox if you ever want to get it, which has one of the best holstered perks in the game. But there may be other exotics down the road that you will need these keys for, so there's no real downside to gathering them. Even if there's no exotics, it allows you to open up their caches and get multiple items. I've gotten, you know, multiple black tusk keys here that I can open up those caches and get a piece of weapon, armor, mod, whatever it might be. Now the other thing too is there's actually quite a bit of loot density down here considering you don't actually need to kill any enemies. Uh, in this little run here, not only have I got a bunch of crafting materials, but in a moment I'm going to find multiple other chests to get some weapons and armor. Now the ones that I'm getting aren't high level. They're, they're you know, purples and they're not really bringing anything to my build. But if you're fresh into a world tier, they just might. Or they might have a talent on it that you want to steal. Or a good roll on weapon damage. Or something that you can use for recalibration. Again, unlucky here. This could have been three high ends in this tiny little run. Typically, most of the gear is not in the main tunnels, but in little side areas. You might even find a shade tech cache here or there, but if you get lucky, you might find some massive upgrades down here. If you're brand new into a world tier, uh, there is brand gear you can get down here that will help you, there could be a great roll on some of this gear that could help you, and if you're struggling at doing the missions in a new world tier, this allows you to hopefully catch up and give you an opportunity to maybe do better. I mean, while recording this video, I got this holster. This is actually an upgrade for one of my builds. 14.5% critical hit chance. The game ain't going to discriminate where you got the loot, it just matters if you get loot. So, I mean, I got an upgrade doing this just for the video, and if you're really struggling because you got terrible rolls, or, uh, you know, the, the gear score is low, equaling low armor, um, you might want to go and do this. Crank up your gear score, get some better drops, get a couple upgrades, and then go back to the missions. Now, these chests don't respawn uh, for 24 hours, so you can only do this once a day, and this also isn't, you know, optimal loot per minute. This is, again, very niche. This is if you are struggling and you absolutely cannot get through some of these missions because you don't do enough damage, you're not tanky enough, or whatever it might be. This is for people that just need to catch up. Uh, this is not for optimizing your build and getting the most loot per minute kind of thing. So I guess I just wanted to like reiterate that one more time. Make sure you guys understand that this is um, this is is kind of for people that are just getting into a world tier and struggling with the enemies, not people that are end game optimizing your build. Because if you're doing something like the dark zone, you're going to get more loot uh, and more gear per minute. Okay, so I just I guess I want to just warn you on that. That's pretty much it. You want to get a, a, a couple little pieces of gear? <laughs> go in the sewers. You want to find some keys? Go go in those little sewers, okay? You look in the... Trying to get a little material so you can upgrade and recalibrate? Get in the sewer right now! You want to look like a little ninja turtle? The sewer. It's for you. That's my quick little tip. Um, you know, if you really want... Go to a, a control point, give them some materials, and then do this. And you can probably really optimize this. But this is like a 10... 15 20 minute thing you can do turn on some music turn on some netflix run through the sewers grab some gear and then get into the hardcore missions you actually have to focus on this is relaxing stuff running around getting some free gear you know what i'm saying you might even get some cosmetics i got like a bunch of cosmetics while doing this so uh yeah definitely worth it have a great day thank you guys so much for supporting my videos and i will see you soon my friends Bye bye